This is the deadly group, which is now finding itself under the scanner because of revelations of this man, Swami Asimanand, through his confessions, has turned the spotlight squarely on these three. Murdered, expelled RSS Pacharak Sunil Joshi, jailed Sadhvi Pragya Thakur for her alleged involvement in Malegaon blasts, and RSS's national executive member, Indresh Kumar, whose name has already figured in the chart sheet filed by the Rajasthan anti-terror squad in Ajmer blasts. But the most embarrassing revelation for the RSS is Asimanand's confession about these two. He says, In 2005, Indresh had come to Shabri Dham after an RSS function. He was accompanied by several top RSS functionaries. Sunil Joshi was also there. Indresh ji met all of us. He told me that making a bomb is not my job. I have been instructed by the RSS to work within the tribals. He said, Sunil Joshi had been given the task of bombs. He said, Whatever help Sunil needs, we will provide. I had also got to know that Sunil Joshi and Bharat Bhai had met Indresh ji in Nagpur. And Indresh ji had given a sum of 50,000 rupees to Sunil in Bharat Bhai's presence. Colonel Purohit had once told me that Indresh ji was an ISI agent and that he had all documents to prove his point. But he never showed me those documents. But when Indresh ji himself was summoned by the CBI in December for questioning about his alleged connections, he had outrightly denied everything. मैं इस दुष्प्रचार के घोर निंदा ही नहीं करता हूं, बल्कि ये कहता हूं ये असत्य पर आधारित एक गहरा राजनीतिक षडयंत्र है। Sunil Joshi himself was murdered in broad daylight in December 2007 in Devas in Madhya Pradesh. See what Asimanand says about Joshi. Sunil Joshi told me that the blasts at Ajmer were carried out by his men. He said that he was given Muslims for this job by Indresh ji. I cautioned Joshi that if you took men from Indresh ji, then whenever you get caught, his name will also crop up. I told him that there was a threat to his life from Indresh. Sunil Joshi's murder case has been solved just last month by the MP police. That too, after initially closing it and then reopening it under tremendous pressure. Police, while tracking the case, attributed the motive to personal rivalry between Joshi and his alleged killers who were also staying with him. Asimanan's disclosures now point to loopholes in this police theory as well. With him in the Sharma and Ashok Bagadia, Bhupendra Chabe.